Hey everybody out there in YouTube town, are you ready to get down? <laughs> I know I am. That's the dumbest little dance I've done at the beginning. What a stupid ditty that was. But we're, uh, I'm, we, together, me and you, are going to be reacting to uh, the third Suicide Squad trailer. That's right, it's the third trailer. Uh, super duper excited about this because uh, it's titled Rain. I don't know what that means. I just want to watch another Suicide Squad trailer and hopefully we'll get more footage and cool stuff. I'm already sold on this thing. I'm probably going to see it like twice in theaters and I'm probably going to buy all the stuff. Yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Don't forget in the description below, we have all the links to all the charities we support, including the Black Lives Matter Foundation, as well as our gaming channel links down there, which, you know, if you want to watch, that's cool. I'm going for the undersell. We'll see if it works. Let's get to the thing. Okay, I'm going to hit play now in three, two, one. Robert Dubois. Idris. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet. I'm not joining your suicide. Wow, story. okay. We'll see. My court date is coming up. And Miss Waller said maybe you could help me out. You're flashing in my door! Everyone stand down. Miss Waller, I don't Stand care. down! Dude, that is the closest anyone's gotten. I wouldn't take such extreme measures if this mission went more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in or out? You in or out, Idris? Let's meet your team. Sorry. Okay, Not Idris. Lula. For his or her own completely unique set of Dude, this is gonna be great. This is... Right, of course. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Had to go number two. Good to know. Hey, he's back too. Good. Is this thing a dog? A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm gonna go with Afghan hound. Oh my God, is it a werewolf? Yo, they stop me into a werewolf. Yo, let me out. He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, he, you know. Played by Sean Gunn. That's Sean Gunn, by the way. That's awesome. Your mission is to destroy every trace of something known only as Project Whoa. Starfish. Any questions? Star? What's a slang term for a butthole? Think there's any connection? Is he kidding? No. No. He's not kidding. <laughs> Yes. Right. Let's get it. There's Starro. Tenant. Not David Tennant, sorry. The other one. Capaldi, sorry. Dude. Dude. That's my dad. Dude. I'm going to get you out of here alone. What? Is she, what? What's with the flowers? Is she hallucinating? Yes! Ratatouille, what do you got? Bird. <laughs> now, now it. Oh. Stay off the comp. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I'm seeing it. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing it. This, uh, so I think for every trailer I've seen, I'm probably gonna see it that many times in, in theaters now, because uh, I'm I'm that enthused about this project. I uh, the idea of James Gunn coming onto uh, something that is a really like cool idea. All the villains being forced to do something to be, they're forcing all the villains to be heroes. That's awesome. What I'm really loving about this trailer, what I'm really loving about this concept is the sort the freshness of it. Everything feels so fresh and inviting. Everything feels so new. The colors are vibrant. James Gunn put out a tweet a while ago saying, do not uh, get attached to anybody. No problem. I'm hoping, and this is going to sound awful, uh, I'm hoping we're going to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of mayhem and deaths. Uh, these are bad guys, by the way, so it's okay to want them to not make it through because they're bad guys, so it's not as bad. It's okay. It's okay to, to wish them harm. It's like watching a horror movie, and you go see a horror movie, and you know that all of the annoying people are going to, you're like, oh, I can't wait till, ooh, I can't wait till they get it. You're gonna get. Like, like, that's what it's going to be like with, with this, except in a more fun, sort of carefree way. Uh, and I'm very, very excited about that. Other things I'm incredibly excited about, yeah, the artistic style, the direction of photography, he's really getting vibrant with this. It's something that is surprising, because with this sort of concept, you wouldn't think it would be so vibrant, and, uh, so it wouldn't be so vibrant and it wouldn't be so inviting. You wouldn't think that about something like this because it's called the Suicide Squad and it's a fairly grim topic. They have a bunch of things in them to blow them up if they disobey. Uh, dang. Uh, another really cool thing was seeing uh, Idris Elba's character, uh, Bloodsport, uh, get uh, like as close as he did to Amanda Waller, the wall. 
no one has ever really gotten that that close to taking her out she's usually got like contingency plan contingency she's like super smart that was even she was surprised at how how close he got to her she was like okay i got it get it understood and idris elba's uh introduction is a really cool idea too uh, I, I'm wondering how all of these characters are related to each other. I'm wondering the, the connections. I know that it's just going to be like a ragtag group going against a bad guy. I'm thinking it's a dictator somewhere, but then Starro is there. And Starro's a bad guy, and Starro does stuff that's like a big thing. Kind of a bad guy. It's hard to explain a giant starfish being evil. How could a giant starfish be evil? It might be. It may be benevolent. We don't know. My excitement level has not changed. It has not gone down. It has gone up a little bit with a little bit more info that we've gotten. What I'm really curious to see is the motivating factor getting them all together. We basically have the idea that Starro is going to be a part of this motivating factor, but I want to see all the other elements come together. I want to see all their little storylines, and I want to see where they're going to go. Uh, and also, Peacemaker getting his own TV series is going to be... I mean, that moment with, with uh, Cena just being like, like, it's another term for something dirty right like like just him totally not getting things but trying really like he's like he's just being so factual and he's just being so so matter-of-factly and so military and it, it just it's a very funny character that takes himself so seriously that we don't have to take seriously and and i'm very excited to see that character get his own show to be honest with you john cena is good good people he does good stuff and he's funny and uh he's gonna really nail this everyone margo uh idris it looks like idris is taking like front and center kind of a role here which is great and i love that uh otherwise i want to watch it now make it send it to me <laughs> see it now right now i will watch it uh no it's not possible uh but we will watch it when it comes out soon let's rate this out of five things out of five Staros, because that just makes sense. I think we've been on, on a Staro scale lately. So out of five Staros, what do I give this one? Well, here's the thing. I didn't get more plot. I mean, I did get more plot, but I didn't get excessive plot. I, I, the giant starfish was explained. So, more or less, from the last trailer. Uh, so it's like, okay, good. So that giant starfish we saw, let some context here. Good. Understood. So here we go. Got it. That being said, uh, I, it didn't give me too much away about other stuff. So, I mean, as part of a marketing campaign, as a piece of marketing, where does this fall on a scale of one to five staros? Well, uh, it's Suicide Squad, and I'm partial, and I love James Gunn, and the cast is tremendous. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, man. She looks great no matter what she does. She's just one of those people. So there you go. Five. It's five staros out of five. Okay? Deal. Deal with it, planet Earth. <laughs> Whoever's watching, no one's watching. It's okay. It'd be nice if you click the like button or the subscribe or the bell because we do these these videos on the daily, yo. I'm cool with my Karen haircut, and this is not a Karen haircut, so don't even say it. It's kind of a Karen haircut. Five stars out of five. In the description below, we've got all the charities that support, including the Black Lives Matter Foundation, and we also have uh, uh, links to our gaming channel if you want. If you want to watch it if you care otherwise that's gonna do it thanks for being here if you were if you weren't this is irrelevant so you're welcome yep take care we're gonna we're gonna move on out now all one of us